<laughs> it's just every time I pause, never forget that the whole fucking argument is I just can't bust to this. Like, when, 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 when are you going to bring something in here that Danny wants to throw a 20 at? Like, my man's not making it rain on alloy, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, she didn't show up ready to fuck. Hit the like button. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen. Shadiversity is a uh, guy on the internet. As we all know. We love him. The official lol cow of Westside Tyler Live and many other live streams. Um, this milk goes out to everybody. This milk goes out to you at home. Okay. <laughs> Shadiversity needs really next to no introduction by this point on the channel. He is kind of in a weird way represents the unifying force of basically every bad right wing take on the internet. If somebody's saying a stupid thing in any of the hobby boards on 4chan, more than likely, Shadiversity agrees with that opinion. And I would extrapolate that out if he had the balls to talk about it. Even into the absolute depths of his goonery, I think we would find that that strikes true. Shad's sexual predilections have been very fairly obvious. <laughs> and on display in the few times that we've come across him. He's got a clear thing for Supergirl, especially blue pleated skirts. Uh, Schoolgirl fetishist, uh, my man is. Very much a fan of dainty little Asian girls with fucking uh, poppy fucking like B-cup titties. Blonde white women. The whole shebang. And I believe what we might see that on display tonight. We're going to be listening to a Night's Watch video. Night's Watch is when he uh, deigns to walk down among the peasantry, who are his Australian pets that he keeps in his Gooner dungeon, and makes sit in front of uh, a bookshelf filled with the most mid-fucking literature, I swear to God. Uh, the real reason, that, and, and talk about dumb pop culture shit, very poorly. The real reason so many female characters are ugly in video games, ellipses, is the name of this video. I'm sure it's going to be fucking dog shit, but I'm excited to see. And before you ask, yes, I already took a screenshot of this. It happened to be this is where I paused it, and um, it does go hard. It does go hard. <laughs> Without further ado, let's let the man himself take it away. Shadowversity. And just a good 1.25% speed. Welcome back to The Watch, and Nathan, have you been noticing the trend that there are a lot of ugly women in video games? Ugly, I think, is a strong word, a Chad. Strong... Oh, this, is, this is my favorite thing. I know, it's like two seconds. Two seconds. Oh. This, is, this is a tick that you have to watch. You have to watch for it. You can tell when Chad is talking to any one of his employees versus someone, because now that I've seen him talk to other people, I've noticed he doesn't do this. When Chad wants his employees to laugh, he has a smile that comes from a cocktail. It's this. <laughs> a full, a full fucking fire marshal Dan or whatever fire marshal Bill, uh, the old Jim Carrey <laughs> smiles. It does look, it looks a little unwell, but it's like, dude, you have to laugh. You have to laugh. That there are a lot of ugly women in video games. Ugly, I think, is a strong word. <laughs> Chad. That's a uh... you know, I, you're you're right in a sense, because uh, look. Look, I'm my man saying... said, yeah, dude, it's, this is alt me, by the way. This is the alternative version of me. This is still too loud right now. This is too loud. Hold on. I'm the, uh, it's just yeah, funny, I... the people who say that. Are you... Ooh, that is pretty high. That is pretty high. Let me see. Usually the ones where I'm like, I, I, yeah, I'm not saying I don't ever see beautiful people calling other people ugly as much because it's like, right. they don't care. Beautiful people. Like, yeah. Usually the, hard, the hot girls are always like, oh, this, you know. Maybe in high school. <laughs> now they don't really care. Online, I reckon online they do it a lot. But, but immature when you grow up. You're right in the sense that there is this oversensitivity uh, these days to terms like ugly and fat when there is this big push to uh, everyone is beautiful. And it, now, I kind of look, I understand a couple of sides to this, right? And this is a bit of a preamble because then we're going to de- uh, There's the offer it massage now, four seconds in why I think it's yes. being adopted too much in media. And it is related to this uh, push for the over acceptance kind of thing because, mm. one, accepting other people who are different. Also, I was fixing I was fixing my look differently. Let me, uh, I want to hear this. Why was he talking and about high school? There's this big push to uh, everyone is beautiful. And it, now, 
I kind of look. I understand a couple of sides to this, right? And this is a bit of a preamble because then we're gonna. De- uh, th- there's reasons why I think it's being adopted too much in media, and it is related to this uh, push for the over acceptance kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. one, accepting other people who are different, and everything like, I'm not treating them differently because they might look differently or anything like that. Might be a different way, everything. Absolutely, okay. The thing is, though, everyone still has their preference, okay? Yes. L- l- like beauty is in the eye of the holder and stuff like that. So, like, not everyone will be att- think I'm attractive, but to my wife. I even seen in video games, right? He didn't say anything. He didn't say I am. He just did a little. <laughs> My wife thinks I'm hot as fuck. It's awesome. She likes me a lot. No, there's no none of that. <laughs> My wife is quite literally my biggest fan. I think of games like Dark Souls and even Dragon's Dogma recently. It's like people actually enjoy making ugly looking characters i think that's more the exception i think, I I think more people are interested in making good looking uh either um power fantasy versions of themselves or ideally versions of themselves more than the ugly ones the ugly ones are just i don't know i think it just depends on people's preferences i guess in okay, terms of video okay. games. here is an interesting point that is related i think my man does not agree with him at all bro if you have if you've been watching this by the way the time for the peasant revolt is now you you look too much like me you got that ginger power. You need to fucking, you need to get a little more psychotic. Let that fucking hair get crazy, right? You gotta, you gotta start getting that fucking Anton Sugar start like, like, like plead over, all right? Because it's time for you to get a full bowl cut and overthrow the monarchy, all right? You gotta kill him and steal his castle and all of his cheeses and wine to stuff, right? Uh, do you know we're in World of Warcraft, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the, the two factions, they had the, was it the Alliance and the Horde? Horde was... and I forget allies. Allies, I don't know allies. That's a, the good guys, bad guys, right? Uh, there was an imbalance of people picking the sides, where people were picking the uh, good guys three to one more than the bad guys. And uh... is that the case? I feel like the opposite is true. Where people, I, I thought people liked playing Horde more than Alliance, because Horde has all the cool stuff. Like Alliance is just people. Okay, but like Horde, you can be like a sick. Dra- like a, a zombie and stuff is that the case i don't know maybe it is one of the execs so this is actually from good old grums okay. but also also if i remember correctly like you have whole it's a completely different game basically from back the, the last time i touched world of warcraft was literally 2004 like basically when it came out so maybe mentioning grums because he has really keen insight into gaming generally he was like a full-on you know one of the main developers with blizzard during the world of warcraft days and everything Is and he actually needed to sit down and find out yes, why people Converse, were not choosing basically. the horde or, as or much or as mm. you know uh, and, and it was particularly in korea and wow was big and important in korea. okay well, we've been korea ah, well, why is There's that a, it's different why is it different well, because koreans are very they like beautiful people nathan but they also hate ugly people. Like there are, <laughs> they're like teen. Like it's a problem though, to the point where they're so extreme. There's teenagers who are like getting plastic surgery in their face because okay, yeah. Yeah. it does go. It does go pretty There's good. a level of it. Okay, okay, they love beautiful people, but it's also like they're also ruling ugly. Also, people. like saying like Korean people are hot. As a person that doesn't know much about Korea, and you're just getting fed like Korean media is extra weird. Now I don't know if you guys know this, um, because a lot of Korean pop stars or just like Korean personalities that get like transplanted across the ocean have fuck loads of plastic surgery but also specifically in south korea right now there is a trend for girls to fuck their teeth up and uh have them like moved into like crooked ways that make them look like milk teeth like little kid teeth because they want to look more like children which hey 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 also uh, the east asia capitalist east asia i will say capitalist east east asia our our closest allies south korea japan uh both pretty fascist nations um big predilection a lot of weirdos hyper hyper into pedophilia like lolly isn't just like okay over there it's an aspect of culture to a degree that actually like freaks some of the people out you know it's it, it's a thing that everyone's not 100 percent cool with Shout out Matchly Muscles is Magic for going, for introducing one of the characters, and the guy says, "You're a lollycon. Uh, 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 should I call the police? What, I, I need to report you." And he's like, "No, I'm not a lollycon. I'm a ciscon." He goes, "How is that better? <laughs> should I call the police? Should I report you?" <laughs> 
Very strange. Very, very strange. Ironically, Mormon capital of the world, Utah, has super high plastic surgery rates. That doesn't surprise me at all, because if you have to have, like, a car for the rest of your life, you know what I mean, that was forced on you, you're probably going to take it in for maintenance. <laughs> I bet for, like, Mormon dudes, getting, like, your wife, like, a, a new set of tits is just basically, like, for your second wife, a new set of tits is basically just, like, putting new windows in a house. You know, like, eventually I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> Or armor, you know, the horde. And they also bounced out. They did like a monstrous race with the alliance. I forget. Like, those Ciscon? No, worse. People. Not a C um, at the beginning. They were, they were like they had horns and hoof feet or something. Yeah, Before my time. Before I didn't have the internet. Okay. Yeah. Well, they bounced it out and they, they gave monsters. Because I get that, you know, there are guys that like playing monstrous kind of just. Rah, the tank. Like, yeah, the tank kind of things. Um, but a lot of gamers like the escapism kind of thing and having beautiful characters to look at. Yes. Dude, fucking my man Shad. I know where he's going. And he's playing. I always play as chick characters. My wife thinks it's, thinks it's fucking hilarious. Um, I just, I always play as a chick. I will fucking pick whatever that, even in Hell Divers, I have like voice one, body type slim, and I, I pick whichever ones make them look the most chick. It's not like an egg thing. I just like playing as chick characters. I don't know if it's because I like looking at them or what. It doesn't make me feel like I'm a girl in the game, but I just love playing as chick characters every time, every time. Shooters, RPGs, everything. I don't think that I think Shadowversity is the same way, right? Maybe for his own different reasons, but I think he's really freaked out about just coming out and saying he's like, ah, people, uh, they like to play as pretty girls, whereas he's trying to just like, like, okay, I've never not tried to play as the youngest, most Asian girl I can. <laughs> There's a reason why seeing, uh, you know, if you look at most of cinema and stuff like that, uh, a lot of the actors usually are on the, uh, you know, the good looking, good looking side. side. You can have both the men and the women. Okay. Spreading and democracy funny, knows I was no kind of gender. listening and doing good research right. on this topic. My wife also kind of got wind of, you know, what I was listening to. And she had to laugh because she is playing a, um, a game at the moment, um, Dreamlight Valley, I think it's called. And uh, what she loves doing it, she loves making. <laughs> this is the face of a man who does not know or care what the fuck is being said to him? He is just patiently listening. <laughs> I'm going to rewind this and say, watch his face when he starts talking about Dreamlight Valley and he has no idea why he's talking about it and doesn't care, but he works for him, so he has to listen. Making a game at the moment, you know, what I was listening to. And she had to laugh because she is playing a, um, a game at the moment, um, Dreamlight Valley, I think it's called. And uh, what she loves doing, it, she loves making a pretty character. <laughs> you know, and do even it's this dude it's not even that big of a screen but i can see it right now i can see his eyes like just going like like he's just dirty painting. Yeah. <laughs> i don't know if it's also the chairs that they have but the body language on this show is always just the worst this is this is two people that are just there is no comfort in the body language that's going on it might be because I wouldn't be surprised if Shad just is unable to kind of understand blocking <laughs> at all. And so, like, they're just in, like, not particularly comfortable things. I mean, they're both in, like, secret lab chairs. Or at least, no, Shad's in. Shad's in a really nice secret lab chair. Uh, his surf is in something that doesn't even go all the way up to his back. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if it's just a little bit hard to lean forward. Especially when you have to have like a conversation it's like this, but you're like, if you're in rolly chairs and stuff and you're constantly turning, you're going to have to like force your body to stay in alignment with the camera. So he's like permanently like bellied up sideways to this table to just get, get two fucking armchairs like a goddamn adult. But I think this is actually Shadowversity's office. I think he works here. Like this, this is his backdrop. Whenever his wife comes in and he's on his like sixth hour of, of go gooning together another fucking like little school girl in a pleated skirt and she's just uh honey uh what can i do for you uh the children would like to see you again <laughs> whenever you got time <laughs> i don't know why but for some reason that just made me think of like I, I heard and i don't know if it's true that one of the animators on bluey may have gotten fired bluey's like an australian dog cartoon 
for kids, but they might have gotten fired because there's a chair in Bluey or Bluey's parents' room, and people were calling that that animator called it a cuck chair. I don't know why I'm bringing that up while I'm talking about Shadowversity. I don't know why I would be talking about cuck chairs, but I am. <laughs> Using the different dresses and everything like that is one of the main features mm. that she's really enjoying with it. And she, as a girl, you loves making fucking drinking out of this. a pretty avatar. And guys, and so... Hold the fucking phone. You have a soundboard right here. There's a, whole, there's a fucking soundboard right there. Why do you have a soundboard? And then your sound is this dog shit. I, they're still being boosted. I know it was loud earlier. That's just because... The last guy's volume was like he had mastered his volume to a, a, a negative 32. Like he was at 32 um, at his peaks. This is still not mastered very well, but you have a whole fucking board right here. Like, what in the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, like pretty. Oh, I, yes, I, I, I think, think we, we can, can all agree. Yes, we can we agree like on that. Pretty things are attractive. We are yes. attracted to. Yes. That is fine. Then with. Oh, did he have to cover up? Did he have to cover up his. <laughs> Is this a Sony Vio? I need to cover that up. The kind of, uh, even you know, bios and the key is, like, this is now kind of escapist media, where, where, look, I know I'm an average looking guy, but when I'm, you know, making characters that... Ah! Eh! Uh, no, Larry, um, in Australia, I'm actually an average looking guy. I've been to Australia! You look like, um, uh, have you ever been to New South Wales? You just don't look like any of the people there. You don't look like any of the people that average, really? Uh, yes, Larry, I'm average. I'm average? Eh. Oh, fuck, you don't look average at all. <laughs> oh, fucking, oh, fucking, whatever the opposite of that is. <laughs> you look disastrous. <laughs> JV Smooth's voice is my favorite thing. I know I'm not supposed to do it, but like, it's one of my favorite voices of all time. I, the way that... The, the, the way that JB Smoove says fuck is the best. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like it's, there's barely, there's barely a fucking like, uh, like a consonant in there. It's perfect. Goddamn. Sometimes they're not, you know, yourself insert to me. Sometimes it is fun to make it insert to me. I make myself buff Could as Chad's hell. wife be a friend I, of I, Dorothy? I, I, I thought <laughs> she'd have real life. Surprised. It's fun to have a character where I'm like, like just, you know. I, said, I don't do that. I get myself a beard. <laughs> Finding out Chad's wife plays a lot of golf. <laughs> she... <laughs> As long as you're home in time to cook, honey. I know where she's heading. She's just going out playing golf. She's got. She's getting into tournaments and shit. She's playing a lot of golf. All women's theme. A lot of golf. A lot of golf. You need something. That's what I do. <laughs> Facial hair that I can't grow. <laughs> I'm very sure you what the ones do now. Real life. Three in California <laughs> zero. Um, all right. So we understand there's a difference between on world and reality. Imagine, imagine, like imagine being too fucking like. Uh, not not just not 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 just like unattractive, but also like uninteresting looking. Like you don't have like a distinctness to you. Because some people could say like Danny DeVito isn't like conventionally like hot, but he has such a distinctness to his personality and like his presence that it's like the vibe is perfect. But you could be shad and go to like uh, California, and no people wouldn't even want you as a bus driver because you just don't have like enough vibe to like to open a door right, like. I, I just can't see you um, opening a door on a bus. I just don't think that it's, I don't think it's for you. Like if I look and I go to a bus and I say, it's time, I'm going to get on the bus. And then it creaks open and then there's you there. I just don't want to get on. I could drive a bus. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't, but I just say, I just think there's other buses in other states in other countries that would suit you better. <laughs> Shad's wife has a carabiner on her jeans. <laughs> I know she's in Australia, but she still drives a Subaru. <laughs> I make myself buff. Did he? I'm, I'm making fun of him so much. That's I didn't even hear. <laughs> I'm very showing on what we both have wanted in our real lives. <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny. Um, all right. So we understand there's a difference between on world and reality, but it seems like that's problematic. It's like, like there are people in the world that are like, no, no, no. I mean, if we don't have the real world represented, people are not going to feel seen. And it's like, hang on. Most people don't care about seeing themselves in their escapist media. They either want to see an idyllic version of themselves or something awesome, beautiful or anything like that. We get enough of the real world in the real world. In the yeah. real world. I think the only times it makes sense, but even then it's like, for example, Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. They mimic the real world, but they... It, why is his... Why don't his... Gla I know I'm supposed to be paying attention to what he's saying. It's always kind of, but why don't, doesn't he put his glasses on his ears? 
What's going on here? What is this? This? <laughs> Somebody said in chat the vibes are rank as hell, and I don't know what it is about this, but his hair being over the top of his ear, and then his fucking glasses being over the top of his hair makes that, that it hurts something deep in deep in me. D something something all the way down in the core of me is getting mad about it. My man over here, other me, look how crispy he is. He got a nice haircut. He got that little fucking medium fade going on. A little blowout, right? Kind of kind of thing. You know, he's ready. He's ready. Glasses straight back, equipped. Over here, just the most rancid vibes. Just AI put on by AI fucking glasses. <laughs> but also just what he's saying, you know. I hear that all the time. People want to escape from reality. Ah. But every time you hear that, every time you hear that, four seconds later, it will be the same dipshit, Shadiversity, saying, ah, that's not really uh, realistic, is it? So, like, like you can't, it, it's, th this fuck talks out, of the, talks out of the side of his mouth every time. And the thing is, is he doesn't have enough, like, awareness of the world or of art or just anything in general to understand that there's deeper things that he doesn't like about games. Uh, sometimes just that that there are accessibility options for people that aren't him. He just wants them to be miserable because maybe he kind of secretly hates gay people or just anyone that doesn't look like him. Maybe that's that's the real issue is that other people are enjoying his game and he doesn't want to hear them talk about it. He only wants to hear other people who are vaguely like him talk about it. But he is the guy, if I'm unless I'm fucking wrong, that built a career on why is the sword fighting not real? Why is this not the truth? Why is this not the most accurate thing ever? Why uh, are there blacks in Scotland? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you get to that shit again and again and again. So, like, wh what do you want? What do you want of it? What you, you just want, every, no matter what, it's crazy. Because no matter what, all you want uh, seems to be a result that just results in things being, uh, that just ends up with people being more white and more conventionally attractive to your standards that you have over and over and over and over and over again. It just seems that we keep more scantily clad, sexualized, objectified, ho-ass fucking women, more fucking uh, white dudes, white dudes, um, and less, uh, le less tubbies, less, 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 uh, less uggos, fewer, fewer yuckety yucks. You know what I mean? How does it just, the result always ends up to be the same thing as what a racist would want or uh, a bigot, uh, anti LGBTQ bigot would want or an anti trans big, or I guess I already kind of hate, but I repeat myself. Uh, like, why do you, how, how is it that you always manage to agree with that thing? Even when the things that you enjoy otherwise, like go to cross purposes, like, isn't that crazy? Isn't that like a little weird? Like, don't you ever see that? Did you notice that that's happening? <laughs> you fucking nut job. Satire it a lot. Mm -hmm. So even, you know, I mean, it's, it's a great example. I think of, you know, mimicking the real world, but also putting mm -hmm. their own spin on it. Where I think, for example, His fantasy, like you don't real. need to have realistic looking people exactly it's fantasy it's, i mean look at Baldur's gate they've got elves and people with slanted eyes yeah. all sorts of weird stuff like mm -hmm. but no we... elves are just people with pointy ears that's like the worst race to point out <laughs> okay like plum colored chicks you know what i mean like <laughs> uh blueberry girls just blueberry elves you know fucking we got we got drow like yeah okay there's there's a few there's a lot of different races in Baldur's Gate, almost all of them are human beings with a slight color swap or a slight ear swap. Like you have to get all the way to tieflings, right? For uh, to be like significantly different looking than a human kind of all over or like gnomes and shit. And even that's not much. We really have to just go to fucking full goblin to kind of get to like a significant amount of inhuman characteristics. And it, 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 it's still... It's not that much. You know what I'm saying? We need to see the real, real world races represented. Otherwise, people will not feel seen. And as racist, not if you don't have the right representation. You know what? I, I, was, I think I was going to make a bigger point there. But then I just started thinking of Minthara. And then I just that was my brain was gone. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I was a chick just so I could do a good Minthara impression. She's got that gravelly voice. You think this fat man and this peasant, they like to speak of women. They've never met one. Take them down into Menzo Barazin. 
Let them meet a woman. It'll be the last one. The best they've ever encountered. You're a human. You've never seen a woman in your life. Even the mother that bore you couldn't stand two days in Menzo Barrison. They call themselves hum human men, call themselves warriors. A single daughter of Loth. And all of them fall to pieces. I can't, I can't, I didn't spend enough time with, everything I know about Minthara is all from fucking cutscenes, because I accidentally killed her, uh, because I had too much respect for her, <laughs> and I was like, this lady scares me, so I killed her, and then I have probably watched, in the ballpark of 25 hours, like, on the side of just, like, different parts of Minthara's questline, different, like, ends, results, like, oh, what happens if Minthara and Tav, like, go and do this thing, She's my favorite. <laughs> that, that, that game lured me in with like, oh, the most interesting romantic interest is going to be the one that's like won the awards. It's going to be Asterion. And I was like, oh, he seems fine. Like, let's, let's, let's do this. And then Shadowheart's there. And I'm like, this fuck, it, I, this is, I, I love her. She's great. And then I found out about Mentara and I'm like, well, this is like literally the kind of woman I married. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure with my fucking wife. That goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> literally chad seems like he would be really into halfling girls for reasons my man's all about them fucking uh ageless sprites you know what i mean he'd be out there talking to uh what's her name that cuts a deal with will i can't remember her name just be like uh, i would do anything uh, could you make yourself appear as anything oh dude if if if, if it was a real role you know what I mean? And then you meet the Incubus near in, in the part three. To just uh, There's it's fucking Baldur's Gate 3, all right? Look, you'll forget the spoiler. There's so much shit that happens. In part three, you go to a hell a little bit, a little bit. And there are, uh, there's a, an, an Incubus where that can change into a few different forms. And if that was in a live play game where you could ask for any form, if you were going to sleep with it, because it's like, hey, you have to sleep with me in order to like accomplish some shit or you can kill him. You're like in a fair fight. I think that like Shad playing a live play game would be a little sick. Ah, ah. You can appear as ah. Is anything ah? <laughs> Hold on, let me um consult my AI real quick. I need to uh, uh, uh appear. I need to uh uh look at a uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> It's table diffusion, uh, real quick. Uh. It's a game where you could hook up with anybody, and like, there's so many different couplings, and you have somebody like Halson who's just like, "Look, uh, we should fuck everybody. Everyone should fuck all the time. Like, if you just have, if you want to fuck, you should just start fucking anything, anyone, anywhere." And it's like, okay, maybe you should chill a bit. And then you have Gail, who's just like, ah, "I don't really think I want to um, be seen naked," or. <laughs> have you seen naked as well <laughs> he's just the best he's just a little fucking he's just a little baby he just wants to hang out with his flying cat and think about his hot ex he's scott pilgrim uh this is this you know what my darkest the most dark energy take i have is is that gail is scott pilgrim and min uh, uh mistra is just envy adams and tav is ramona <laughs> <laughs> do with that what you will that's violence somebody somebody who's a gale fan that's violence and now they're thinking about stuff and they're like oh no oh no don't no no <laughs> gale ate my magic boots too many times he only does it three times it's like hang on we don't want the real world and we get enough of that and uh, and so also, in terms of representation, it depends on the, the world setting and everything. You know, mm. I, um, we'll probably talk about this more, but people are complaining at the Shogun TV show. There's no black people in it. Like, hang on, there's a lot of Asian people. I don't who, who is this person? Is it one Twitter? Every time. People uh, are out there. Uh, don't, show me. Who, who is it? Of course, there's somebody. There's somebody complaining about it. If it was free fucking taco day, worldwide taco day, and everyone got a free taco, it would just appear in front of you. It would be the perfect taco. There would still be one person that's like, "This, I need to fucking find a way to end this. <laughs> I need, I'm going to try to fuck it. I'm going to, this, this, these tacos are first off racist somehow. And also no one should be able to have them because they cause joy. Like there's just fucking, there's one asshole that's out there. 
But you have to show me it's going to be like a concerted fucking thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so yeah, it's the whole. I have, gets nervous comes, being I too I'm close to other dudes. Kind of he absolutely. If you fucking side stall Gale, he's the guy. He's having his little moment, and then you like step up too close. He goes, "Whoo, <laughs> ah, okay." <laughs> He tries. To, he tries to shake it off. He's not even halfway done. He's just <laughs> get the fuck out of there. Attitude that I have to see myself in it. The other side to it. Uh, it's funny. There's actually multiple sides. And so, like, all right, but this one, right? I wonder if people are worried that because people like watching. Damn, dude. Some time passed. Hold on. Look, there's a cut here. My man has like energy still, right? That Watch I have to this. see myself. He's got a little bit of juice the other left. side to it. Uh, it's funny, there's actually multiple sides. And so like, all right, but this one, right? I wonder if people are worried. <laughs> what happened? What happened in that cut? <laughs> you need a will. You need will from fucking BG3. I looked into the fires of Avernus. <laughs> and what I saw I couldn't be taken back. What happened? What occurred in that break? I I can't speak of it. <laughs> I may be a son of Balder, but some things must not be spoken. <laughs> Hold on, actually, I need. <laughs> I need this, and I need this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm making this into a segment now. <laughs> I'm making this into a fucking segment now. <laughs> that because people like watching beautiful people, sexy people, whatever in their games and everything, that that would affect them finding beauty in the real world. I have no it's idea just, what the fuck he's it, talking It's almost about. a similar type of thing either. as, you know, violence in gaming, of course, you'd be violent in the real world. You know, indulging in enjoying pretty beautiful people in the real game means that you could never be attracted to a regular woman. But I actually think feminists, they're very extreme ones. This is, this goes back to the original big Gamergate controversy. One of the biggest kind of, you know, attacks against gamers in the Gamergate thing was the game is all sexist. Look at all these objectified women in their games. It's all just male gaze and they're sexist for doing it and bad art bait and we need to make it look more realistic and, and not sexified or anything. They don't care about the men being objectified, but the women, that, that's the problem, right? And I think it came from, I think it comes from a Yo, I always I, I see that one, and I know it gets brought up, but I really still don't feel like the men were ob like objectified that bad. Like, yeah, they're like unrealistic standards, but like if you kind of if you get back in time, it's just it's a little crazy sometimes for different ones because there are like sexy chicks, right? And there's like some like dudes that are hot, you know, but like it's the whole like the gaze, the, you know, the male gaze kind of thing where it's just you're leaning on it a little too much. It because especially when you get older as i have and grow up as i have and you're no longer a teenager who's just like transfixed by like the sight of a, a an exposed ankle oh my andrew tate has lifted up his capri pants what will we see today <laughs> doth he have a taste for little ankle tattoo <laughs> but like I, I i look back on some of the stuff and it's like dude this is too much because i can tell when somebody's trying to feed me cake you know what i mean it's like back the fuck up. Um, I will say the quiet stuff from Metal Gear Solid Five is just like a little excessive at times. It's just like, come on, get, get, get the fuck on with it, man. Chill out. But like, I still also I just don't think it's like that big of a deal. And I also don't think that there was that much of a backlash or a cry against sexism that anyone gave a fuck about. I, I think most of the um, I, there was a backlash really comes from people knowing that they were doing something wrong, you know, and then having themselves feel called on it. Like, like Shad's a gooner. That's really what it boils down to. Shad's a gooner. He goons. He's a gooner. All right. The low cow. And he probably feels bad about it. And probably a lot of other guys do too. Cause they're getting their kicks from looking at like half naked ladies. And when somebody made them feel bad about it, it caused a massive hyper reaction because like no one, nothing happened. Like nothing happened. You know what I mean? Baldur's Gate 3 is out right now and you can put people in some underwear. Let me tell you what, or just take it off and have your characters run around literally butt ass naked. Also a possibility. 
and there's there's been no back no backlash basically whatsoever that I know. Uh, and, and it's because it's, it's lame. Most of the backlash and like when it when it becomes a big controversy is because someone will be like a lady will be like. I think there's like way too much sexualization in video games and it's upsetting me and it makes me feel like I can't play games too. Did not make a single Modern Warfare stop coming out. Uh, NBA 2K has been on a steady release schedule since I was in fucking high school 20 fucking years ago. Uh, all of the other games are coming out. Like what game got delayed? What game got fucking canceled? And like, what, was it one, two, three? I, how many? Like, Hollow Knight's out. Like, it's fine. So we didn't cancel that. I, that. That's all that fucking matters to me. Like, yeah, there's some bad games, but there's always bad games. I think the one that anyone ever points to is that Mighty Number no. 9, which was like a sort of like badly done Mega Man game where somebody panic hired some untalented artist because she was like a feminist or something like and that's like that's such an extreme example and it really just is boiled down to somebody not having like direction and like having the balls to like run their own fucking project at which point like fuck your project your project deserves to die you didn't stick up for it where is this i could play as girls in titanfall you'll run around ah! lady voice when they get shot hanging out doing stuff plenty of games that had like bikinis Lara Croft Tomb Raider was released. It came out. I remember people were like, oh, it's really upsetting because it's like a hypersexual choke that she gets put in and a quick time event in it. And then we don't even talk about that anymore. All the petrification fetishists still can, can still jump on Midas's hand. <laughs> fucking get their jollies. You know what I mean? In the fucking remake. Wait, where is the problem? Like, what, what actually has happened other than like somebody just said that you're bad? And you have let it completely derail your life and turn into like a series of conflict or of, of yeah, conflict cycles again and again and again and again and again and again. Like I can understand being pissed about it one time. You're like, oh, wow, is this happening? And people are like, yes. And they're like, well, what's the problem? What, what, what happened that is bad? F nothing. Like, like the argument is just like, oh, there's some companies that are like putting less goonable ladies in the games. Like, is that it? Like. Bro, you, you are on, you are literally on the internet. The, the entirety of fa Shad's fan base, by the way, had to close one or two fucking Pornhub tabs just to, just to let this populate because they have access to pornography. Like, Gelbro's out there, 4chan's out there. I, you, you think I don't know the fucking secret tongues? I know you guys are fucking jerking off this shit. It's the internet. Shad, when you're watching this, I know you're fucking cracking it out. I know you know what tags are. You're not just sitting at home with your fucking wife. Oh, 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 I, I, I've never done anything but use AI. Shut the fuck up. You know exactly. You you have fucking a whole set of bookmarks. Everybody's got a fucking goon folder. That's one of the reasons everyone's pissed off at fucking Vosh's dumbass. It's because everyone's got some sort of goon folder. He's the only one that fucking, like, released it publicly on a live stream. He's a fucking complete incompetent. Dark side Phil cracking one out when he thought the fucking stream was done. That... No one cares. But the thing is, is like, dude, just play the game for the game. And if you don't want to play the game, just don't fucking play it. Because the game is, first off, mechanics and shit. You know? Like, we're having so many... All these conversations, him, Metatron, it's about, like, the character creation. Just c create the character. And then what happens is going to happen to the same thing. Five fucking minutes after you start it, you're going to get a bunch of shit-ass starting armor. And you're going to look like a dildo for the first 75% of the game. And then you're finally going to get to, like, the last town and buy something that looks moderately fucking cool. You can just buy dolls, by the way, Chad. You can buy a doll. You can get online, and you can go buy vinyl figurines and put them on these fucking bookshelves and dress them up. Like, you can dress up dolls if you want and just stare at them. Like, you can get mods. Like, you can just mod it, and they can have giant fucking... That ground dragging titties. Like, you know, I don't even have to fucking, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, like, fucking Shadowversity isn't fucking, his uh, PC doesn't fucking scream under the strain of how many Skyrim mods probably fucking activate automatically when he turns the machine on. <laughs> Somehow managed to turn every fucking dragon into Haruhi Suzumiya in a fucking One Piece. Like, goddamn, bro. It's the internet. Get the fuck over it. Do we have to have the adult conversation? We got to say all the secret words. Now everyone knows. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs>
Go fucking jerk off, bro. Go crack one out, and then in your fucking refractory period, play like 20 fucking minutes of a game and just try to experience it the way that people wanted you to experience it instead of being hung up on like, why is my dick not hard? <laughs> not even a tag. <laughs> bro, if you're having to consider fucking like, uh, taking out a, 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 a fucking Viagra prescription just to get through the fucking character creation screen of the new Dragon Dogma. Maybe that's a fucking you issue. You know what I mean? It's a bizarre thing to be complaining about. Because ultimately, I have no respect for it. It doesn't have anything to fucking do with the game. It doesn't have anything to do with the game at all. I, I, I don't want to be looking at these uh, for the next 30 fu 40 fucking hours I'm playing it. Uh, buy a f get mods, dumb fuck. Like, do you not know how the internet works? I know you do. Just fucking mod it. If it's that bad, mod it. I've done it before. I've said the fucking sprite or whatever in this, this fucking game looks like ass, but I want to see how the fucking game plays out. Or sometimes I'll just see like on TikTok, I'm like, that fucking mod looks cool as shit. And then I'll just download a skin mod and then the fucking whole character looks different and I just still play the game. Hey, I just want to have a different, neater Batman suit for the entirety of this, like, third playthrough of Arkham Knight. They have this thing that I can download and mod the game with. Bada bow, bada bow. You know? Oh, I want to fucking play uh, Just Cause 3 as Laura Croft. Bada boom, bada boom. There you go. Okay, it's fucking done. Like, <laughs> the fucking world is out there for you, man. Like, how can you simultaneously be, like, presenting the most gooner-pilled fucking opinion... But also, like, to a whole audience of people that are desperately trying to pretend that they don't know fucking porn exists and that they can just fucking mod all of these things instantaneously. Like, day one. There's a day one patch for every major release and a day two porn mod. If not day 1.5. You know? Like, we have learned this. This is just a fact of the world. If anything, Overwatch has taught us that everyone knows the Overwatch characters, the entire female roster at least, even if they've never installed Overwatch or played a single game. They know the names of all of the female roster of Overwatch. Do I need to say why? No. Because we're all on the fucking internet, and anyone that's having a this online fucking conversation is cannot disagree with me right now. You can't. This is this is impermeable argumentation. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> a lot of things. Sounds like a plane taking off. A lot off, of the yeah. crazy feminists that were projecting this were actually projecting that uh, they were upset. There's that a because video of Shad where he talks about a modesty mod. <laughs> Maybe they are fucking with my man's porn. <laughs> The only, the only, all, all the possible alternatives to my argument are actually just way sadder. Because if this dude's just so fu if this, if this dude's only access to any form of fucking pornography is just the, like, uh, the, the Zetai or Ryoku or whatever the fuck, just that little bit of thigh gap between the top of his little fucking lolly avatars, fucking stockings in the bottom of her fucking skirt. Like, he's just like, if I can't get that, I'm to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> That's way sadder. It's as pretty as the real world games and everything they want. It's reflecting, you know, a new standard of beauty, which is what they look like, which mm. is on the Wait, general Overwatch kind of game. Yes. standards of beauty. <laughs> They're not supermodels, let's just say that, right? And notice how I try to be a bit diplomatic when I say it, because I know in the real world, right, beauty is in the eye of the holder. When you fall in love with someone, they become the most beautiful person in the world. Remember and Butt Gate physical for Overwatch, when one pose got changed pre-release? Yeah, we understand that, that difference. And it doesn't affect our judgment in the real world. And, uh, and I'll... <laughs> Dude, that's G Gamergate One's fucking entire thing that I remember of stuff from them is uh, people being mad that their fucking porn wasn't canon because Tracer was a lesbian, and they're like, she can't be a lesbian, and everyone's like, why? Nothing about her character has been discussed yet, and they're like, she can't be a lesbian. It's the it's the. It's the American Psycho thing. She can't be a lesbian. Why not, you stupid bastard? Why not? She just can't be. <laughs> In the opposite direction.
funny because I do I have come across mm. you know a group of like a mentality where standards are too high both for men and women the women thinks a guy needs to be so tall and they need to have these types of features you know chiseled as and all that and th that's too narcissistic too high standards and guys have that as well mm. um but it's easy to just like oh what's correct <laughs> yeah, all right and the thing that causes that I do not really find video games to be the cause of it necessarily media either uh like because I find narcissistic people are narcissistic anyway. Right? Yes. You think you think these people who have these standards would not see like hyper exaggerated beauty standards in the real world, the models and stuff like that? Do you think we do not come across what people consider knockouts in the real world that then they might have a preference to really like you know more exceptional standards? People who generally have those unrealistic standards will have them anyway, and uh, most people get, understand the difference. I've mm. never seen an impact. Well, I think it's also understand that you know. I think it would become an issue if all you did was play video games with beautiful people and you never went outside and talked with people and had normal interactions. I think if you're playing games moderately and also going outside and talking with people and you understand inspiration, mm -hmm. that's fine. It's when you get things like if you just play WoW two hours a day or if you're just always on Roblox or whatever. You know, VR chat, I think, is also an issue because people are now getting to the point now where it's like, if you're not a cute anime girl, I'm not attracted to you. Like, that's <laughs> that's obviously a problem. Yeah. But people who are sensible... I always love the men always say the women have too high standards. I don't ever see men being insane about their standards and most women just want you to have a personality. If you talk to more women um, on a friendly, you will find that uh, there's a lot of women that have way too high standards too, but it's also just never the thing that the men are talking about. <laughs> it will be like way too high standards, but in terms of like personality and like a way that you just didn't expect, like what, what, how is that what you're fucking worried about? You know what I mean? Um, but it generally, yeah, dudes are the ones that have the way too high standards, and it's usually because they're trying to impress other dudes. It's almost nothing to do with the actual woman that they're trying to go after. It'll always be like, I can't let some other guy think that I'm sticking my dick in mid. That's literally what it boils down to. Like, just just when you're just this deep, deeply, unironically, deeply homosexual like closeted vibe of like when other guys think of my dick and what it does it has to be only relative to the hottest girls and otherwise i would rather just not have sex i would literally rather not have sex than have sex with a mid-looking girl and have some guy know that i put my dick in mid which is just extremely fucking gay to me it's like all this all of these conversations are just like deeply closeted like teenage boy at the fucking gay straight alliance like levels of gay like, like i'm not really gay but i just like i think about things sometimes like blah 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 blah, blah. and everyone's like no you're gay that's gay it is fine like gay's cool gay's in i like gay i want some more gay gay's in gay's cool gay's hot i want gay um and then it's just like dude all you're thinking about when it relative to sex is like what other guys want in like the most the, the self-destructive way possible like don't you i feel like that the best attack is just to do that because i'll tell you what when i did on twitter like people get mad as fuck at me they're like you, you're just you're fucking gay shaming i'm like no i think it's fucking cool like dude i got friends that suck dick that's, that's how they get off it's cool with me i don't mind it you're the one that's all fucked up i called you gay now you're freaked the fuck out because you're doing gay shit. Maybe that's something that you should take up with yourself because it seems like it's causing you an extreme amount of distress. All you talk about is how women are dressed. <laughs> you and catty homosexuals outside of a fucking New York bar at fucking 11 p.m. Oh, look at her. I bet she thinks she's, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you and them. <laughs> you, if you have a moment where you're like, I could be having a real conversation with another dude about my sex life right now and that guy might want to fuck me and that would like weird me out like that's like a gay thought like a deeply gay thought which is cool and i think it's just causing you distress getting hung up on it just maybe maybe a lot of you guys just go fucking fuck some dudes all you're all hung up about guys that can turn into girls <laughs> boys that make you think thoughts that you normally think about girls it all it's just the same shit I know, like, it feels like it's different conversations, but, like, it all it's always the same thing. Like, you're all freaked out about... Never freaked out about, really freaked out about girls that can become a guy. You know what I mean? If you transition into that way. That's okay. Like, maybe it's, like, a tomboy or something, blah, blah, blah. Like, you're really freaked out. Like, oh, down, cut the titties off. Down, cut the titties off. But then all the rest of it's, like, well, just... You've all seen transgender porn and fucking... It's, why are you so deep into it? 
Why are you so deep into it? You're like the priests that all fucking die of bubonic plague because <laughs> you keep touching the plague victims. Like, why are you why are you so fucking fascinated with it? You could just not care. You could literally not care and nothing would happen. Nothing would happen. No one would think differently of you. No one would be like, I mean, unless you've oversold yourself because you've created an entire personality around this and your fucking family will starve if you don't make fucking bigotry videos. But like, if you're out here and you're watching this shit, just consider not giving a fuck. Just consider not giving a fuck. Or even just watch some gay porn. <laughs> just watch two dudes go at it. Uh, that might be your thing. You might be just skipping the middleman. Maybe, and this is going to be crazy, if you're really hung up on this shit, go to a store. If you go to a costume shop, sometimes you can find joke heels, like high heels that are just for some reason in men's size. Why don't you go try some of those on and see how you feel about yourself? You don't have to go put on a whole dress. Just put the shoes on. Little nude pumps. No one will even notice. You can stick them in the back of the closet. Oh, I bought those for a gag. See how you feel about yourself. When you're having conversations like this, like, what else am I supposed to think? Like, this isn't a manly conversation between, like, men. <laughs> this is a gooner. This is a gooner conversation between two fucking nerds that do LARP. Men have conversations about, like, men shit. Even if you want to be, like, the most... If you're in this world, like, shouldn't you be talking about fucking, like, cars or building stuff? Because this... Because you could go two channels over from what is this is... And watch a guy build a birdhouse with his son. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, me and the boy are going to go out today and I'm going to teach him how to change the chain on a chainsaw. We're going to be working on this and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to teach you guys how to mix up some, uh, some two-stroke engine oil. All right. Here we go. <laughs> you know? Hey, everybody. Uh, this is how you shave. Hey, this is like, this is how you do stuff. This is how you make things. This motherfucker's over here talking about dressing up dolls and how his dolls aren't cute anymore. Which is fine, by the way, but can we stop with the pretense that this is something that men do because, like, it's an aspect of, like, hardcore masculinity and, like, it's like, oh, this is an assault against men. Like, don't want no men give a shit. I'll tell you what, if you're fucking, if you're fraught with ideas of this and they feel like they're taking your head off, like, just, just fucking you up, just go take a vocational course down at the low and just do some masonry work. Just stack bricks and mortar. For like, just a good three hours. And I guarantee you won't fucking care about any of this anymore. You'll come home, you'll have a beer. Do what your ancestors did. And if you're into girls, crack open some fucking porn and look at a Playboy. And if you're not into girls, crack into whatever suits you. Hopefully it's legal, you fucking psychos. And then just enjoy yourself that way. All right? All right. <laughs> I like the way that boy's looking at me. <laughs> He's hung like a horse, but still a man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid shit, man. <laughs> Why are you thinking about other men being turned on? You should be thinking about war. Yeah. <laughs> Embrace the right Roman inside of you. Three women from games they haven't played that are somehow emblematic of all female characters in modern. It just made me realize the whole issue here is that the gooners are so invested in their insecurities and what they might be that they just don't understand actually being something and owning it. It really is. It, 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 this, is it's the, this is the most lame fuck. This is the lamest conversation humanly possible. No one's learning anything from this. This is literally just to make like teenage boys who don't understand like why they feel feelings like upsetty spaghetti. So they buy this dude's doll that he makes of himself, which is psychotic. <laughs> I, like, I, it, it's not a shame thing, <laughs> really. It's just like a own yourself. Like, there's no shame if you own it, is really my thing, by the way. If you feel like I'm dogging on anybody, really, there's no shame if you own it. I, I, I'll always basically say that for most everything, uh, especially if it's not causing anyone else any harm. Like, you're a guy that dresses up like a knight and makes little dolls of himself and complains that his fucking cartoon characters aren't goonable enough. Like, you're not a serious person. You're a fucking loser, bro. <laughs> Guys like you used to have to work at the Toys R Us uh, in the section where, like, the, the, the kids couldn't go. Like, you, you would get put in, like, the baby section so that you couldn't talk to kids that, like, new words and shit because they didn't want you over there. 
oh, uh, let's get somebody else. Uh, maybe Kelly can unload the Barbies today. I wouldn't want to touch them. Ew, yucky. <laughs> so pedestrian, man. Here you go, yeah, this, this, it's just looking more realistic now. Yeah, it's, it's a ray tracing. Exactly. That's not a, a real change. And, and so many people I even saw trying to gaslight. They didn't change the face. And I'm like, I can see both faces. There's a big change. They made Aloy look like a man. Is that her name, by the way? I think it's Aloy. A a Aloy? Yeah, Aloy. Aloy or something. Uh, Aloy, yeah. I, I don't care. Because it's not a game. Well, it's funny. I, I... Okay, let's go. We'll bring it up. It's two seconds. This is the one that keeps getting brought up. This is just the character at all. This is just her. This is Aloy. There she is. Horizon Wiki. There she is. I don't know if this is like the first game. This is an edit to make her look fat. But this is just her face. And the, this is like her face in the advertisement. She's just like cold because it's outside. And so her skin is reacting to the elements. And she's not wearing makeup. And it fucked them up, dude. Horizon Zero Dawn for Ben West. She's that... She just has a, like a puffy face. Why is her face... Lift? But this is what we want. This is what we want. Horizon Zero Dawn... Two, I can't remember. Dude, this game, by the way, is one of the most boring fucking games of all time. I keep seeing this, and I think that this is fucking shooped. Because this looks more like what we're trying to fucking talk about. Sony inspects Ali's new face in her right. There we go. Yeah, so this is this is just what she looks like. This is fine. This is Forbidden West, yeah. So, like, it's just, it looks, she just looks like a girl. She's just your average girl that gets out there. But she doesn't have hyper, hyper, like maximally sexualized features this is a chick by the way that runs around and fights dinosaurs that are like robots she fights robot dinosaurs all the time she spends most of her days like literally hunting robots in the woods and in the plains in the desert but like dude this is just a normal human woman <laughs> that's just a girl she's just a good looking girl like you know whatever she's like a you want to get a grade them like a seven like an average good looking girl that you would see anywhere I bet you five bucks, anybody that's ever complained about this model, if you saw this same girl, same haircut, same face, but instead of like this clothes, she was wearing fucking uh, standard spandex fucking, um, what do you call them, yoga pants and, and, a, and, a, and a comfy shirt and at the gym like doing squats. Anybody, well, they, these guys would never be at the fucking gym. But these dudes like this would fucking develop a permanent fixation on this woman if they saw her in, in fucking real life. Like, you just would. I just guarantee you. If you had this much direct, con like, fucking eye contact with this chick in real life, this dude's, this dude's fucking chin would retract and become a jawline again. Like, that shit would go fucking, it would be that hard. It would be that hard on him. She looks like what an ideal trad life wife would look like in real life. Oh, unironically, like everybody that talks about Vikings this and Vikings that, this is what you're the hottest woman in like the fucking best village will look like. Like, unless you're like hyper lucky. Uh, sorry, I've seen a uh, Vinland saga and they are all anime girls. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, buddy. I heard that the first one was good. Okay, buddy, Shad. Okay, I, <laughs> retract my stuff. It's a good game, just not for me. Okay, because no, um, when I see so a game company do this type of pandering, it shows me where their idea. I, I know they're talking. I'm 11 minutes into this. Um, Horizon is boring as fuck. <laughs> game sucks. Uh, I hated Horizon Zero Dawn. If you like it, that's fine. It was just it just doesn't feel like a finished game. Jesus, I never played. I, I never played and wouldn't play Forbidden West because the first Horizon bored me so bad. It's just uh, the items, the inventory stuff, the talking, the quests, all of that just seemed completely unfleshed out. Like, there's no reason to get new equipment, kind of, at a certain point in the game because you'll, like, hit a ba best equipment and then there's no reason to kind of trade out because, like, it's just the ideal. Like, you hit a meta set and there's no reason to ever change anything. Like, it's just hyper hyper instantaneous meta because there's also not that much to choose from and then the entire plot is like a few overly long cutscenes with like all of the traditional you know like lance reddick and stuff is in it and obviously alloy and there's a cool a few cool like climbing up stuff things that, which is kind of like it and then the rest of it is just jump dodge jump dodge jump dodge shoot shoot jump dodge shoot shoot jump dodge shoot shoot over and over and over and over again it just gets like hyper dull 
ontological kind of where they land ideologically and mm -hmm. stuff like that and it also is a red flag for what they will promote support and push in the future i'm sure and so when i saw that change was just i was like about i was interested in playing horizon of the male form is not complaining that Halo's not even going to take a second glance at it mm -hmm. and it's not because they just well one it would oh, be more enjoyable if halo was more pretty right that's just the uh, base standard that i think we've established people get that and and having why do you think tomb raider was so popular there like you know because then polygons you know they, oh. just, they were in the right spots <laughs> but the better graphics got they, uh, they filled that out. That was almost bands. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. They used that bevel and they just <laughs> moved it all out. Yes. Got them curves going. <laughs> nice hand movements. <laughs> hourglass. Hey, hourglass. That's what you were shaping, right? Yeah. Um, Nothing else. And so people, like, it's so normal. People have, like, you know, uh, idyllic, like, uh, pretty, you know, protagonists. And Horizon Zero Dawn, like, like, you've got, well, it started off somewhat pretty, you know, but then he's like, no, we're going to make her look more manish, make her fill out the drawer, make her look like Nikocado Avocado. Have you seen the, the app comparison? The comparisons, it's yes. just like, <laughs> It was overt, it was obvious, but people did try and gaslight. It's not really happening, right? But now we've seen example after example after example. Well, I think especially when. Just the... give all three of those. <laughs> it's like the opposite of that Family Guy joke where he's like, Na name a single song with uh, that's a girl's name, and then Brian names like 80 fucking songs, you know, that are girls' names as the song title. It's like the opposite of that because you actually just do hit a fucking terminal point like four things in and still the argument is just like i cannot come to the avatar like i literally like, i can't bust to this <laughs> it's just every time i pause never forget that the whole fucking argument is i just can't bust to this like what when 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 are you gonna bring something in here that daddy wants to throw a 20 at like my man's not making it rain on alloy, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, she didn't show up ready to fuck. <laughs> like and like subscribe. And subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.